can he find a reverse gear is the next question. He oh, got, it was oh. contact with Nico Pino in the number 30 Duquesne car. And I need to see that from another angle, really, to, to fully realise where the cars were on the track. But did Pino not give Fassbender sufficient room on the exit there? He can't cut a break, can he? That's, uh, we saw two major contacts with Michael Fassbender at Paul Ricard. And now in the wall, he brushed the wall. So car 72 still with Arnold Robin. Oh, we on this big off there for Johnny Lawson, who clatters the barrier not once but twice. See again what happened here. The 43 car Lawson off the track came past, and then there was a hit to the side, side to side between the Orica and the Ferrari, and it sent one car into the barrier stage right and one stage left. So Safety car, he unsurprisingly. He moved over to the right and further to the right, and Johnny Lawson just was not aware that that LMP2 car was there, and it's pinged him immediately to the left and smacks the barrier, yeah. mainly on the front right, which has popped the radiator, and that's why there's coolant now pouring down the racetrack. That's going to take some mopping up. And think about Rui Andrade, who was really the innocent party in that, and he's frantic on the team radio now. Oh, is there a problem here with the, with the 34 car? Fire extinguisher being summoned. Can't see the right-hand side. Is that a brake fire? Because it was certainly aimed it's at that part up. of the car. 34 is out of it. Louis Delatraz is going to be distraught about this. Very, very slow coming out of turn seven. That was very nearly a huge problem for the Duquesne number 30 car as well, driven by Rene Binder. The, off the track is the LMP2 Prime leader, that's the 24 car in the hands of Ben Hanley. Sixth place overall, and what has happened there? But uh, Ben Hanley rejoins the track, but that's delayed him enough for Charlie Eastwood to take the lead.